today I show you how to customize the lock screen on your Android phone. From the items on the bottom here, these shortcuts, to background and uh, whatever you see on the screen. And also the home screen. So first unlock the home screen. So this is Android 14. And to customize the lock screen, you go to settings and then scroll, scroll, scroll. And then you find the item called wallpaper. Tap on the wallpaper and it takes you to this menu where you can choose a wallpaper. You can customize the background of your phone with the... You can put any picture you might have or just put this one. This is not permanent, it's only to show you how it could be. And that's how it is. So I can set it to lock screen. That's the lock screen. That's the preview. And the home screen. And I can apply it to either the lock screen only and or home screen and lock screen. So I could set it to lock screen only. And then when I lock the phone, I have to make sure I don't so when I when I open the phone now it's like this like a flashlight looking at you. I just tried something. And then when you unlock it you have a different different screen. So from here I could actually set it as both. So I could set this picture as a home screen and lock screen. So I will apply home screen and lock screen and now the whole phone has this weird picture as a background which I mean that's how it looks like you can use any picture you might want there it's uh, completely customizable but i like to use this live wallpaper it's interesting for this phone these are the interesting ones so i guess tiktok could give you a wallpaper i don't know about that <laughs> so i'm previewing the live wallpaper that's interesting. Let's try green. I think I will choose the black one. It's more like bluish, this one. Also, there is the light here, so it's a bit confusing. So I will set it to home screen and lock screen for both. So you can use the local pictures. You can use the live wallpapers. You can use your Google Photos. And you can actually, on, on this screen here, you can customize the lock screen or the home screen. And on the lock screen, you can choose different color schemes. So it changes a bit the accent of the colors. Like I put a bit of orange, you see the text there became a bit brighter. So I guess I'll use this gray kind of, so it's easier to, for you to watch. I had the blue one before, but maybe it's not a good idea. Also, there are the shortcuts. There are also the shortcuts and the notification on the lock screen. If you want more privacy and you want you don't want someone else to check to actually see messages you receive, you could disable this option and you only see a notification message after you unlock it. This is for privacy. The shortcuts, you can use a, a torch or for the left one, this one. You can use uh, disable it different options video camera on the right side you can have also do not disturb mute the torch wallet i have wallet and torch so these are you can change it like this so if i now have the video camera on the right side it's there Yeah, it asked me to unlock, so there's no point on that. Okay, so maybe video camera is not the greatest option, but mute. I think mute would be... I have to tap and hold. So now it's muted. Tap and hold. It's unmuted. Tap and hold. No. Tap and hold. It's for silent. To make the phone silent. It's interesting to make the phone silent but I will keep the torch because I like it like that so on the home screen you can customize also the same the themes 
you can have different so now like for example with this I can have this bright maybe I'll leave it like this it doesn't look too bad mm, it's interesting I'll leave it like this I like this one you can also choose if the phone is in dark mode you click on these dots menus here and you can choose more colors here but there is a dark theme option so now the phone is bright <laughs> super bright okay if I go to settings it's really bright I don't recommend having the phone like this I always prefer dark mode dark theme so dark theme that's how you enable it from there really quickly and going back uh, also you can this is a new option you can have the actual themes of the app in the theme dark or bright so now I have the theme color there will be a single color some of them they will be a single color most of them and also they will have the theme colors so you can have Gmail and the other apps with the theme colors that's interesting I think I like that I think I like this but not all the apps have the themes colors and mm, it's a bit a bit uh, so and so you can also change the shape of the apps how many apps you have on the screen uh, app grid so now it's more uh, spacious but this could make it rearrange like you could get all your apps rearranged on the home screen <laughs> and it might be a problem so you could have even so many so small I don't know I don't know if even if this works at all I know it works they are smaller so I have it like this five five rows and no five columns and six rows like this that's the default so that's how you customize the lock screen on your phone I actually changed one setting now I made this golden so it's like a bit golden golden theme with the phone something like this and this is how you customize the lock screen of your Android phone this is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 I really like this phone I mean there are nicer phones Samsung is nice too but this phone works there's a newer phone Xperia 1 Mark 6 but this phone works thanks for watching thanks for watching subscribe like and share and I'll see you next time